Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously from the title of the video, you're probably like a little bit confused. Like what does she have to tell us? But I am just here to tell you guys what has been going on in my life for the past two weeks. Um, a lot of you guys noticed that I was being a little bit MIA on social media. I was still uploading and stuff, but I just wasn't being active. I wasn't like tweeting like I always do or Snapchatting and all that stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know what has been going on. So I'm just gonna go straight into the story. So pretty much what happened was that in the beginning of the year, obviously it's still the beginning of the year, but in the beginning of January, I went for my physical checkup and they took out some blood work and they were like, oh, are you anemic? And I was like, yes, I was like, I'm anemic. I was like, I've already been knowing this. I was like, because of my iron it level is low. And they were like, oh no, you're not anemic because of your iron level. They were like, your hemoglobin level is low. So right after my appointment, I told my mom what happened. And then she flew down here, which a lot of you guys were like, why is Daisy's mom there? Why isn't she showing her off on Snap, how I usually do? And my mom was really concerned. So obviously her as a parent, she just came down here to be there for support and just to see what's going on. So then whenever we went back for the checkup appointment, that's where they explained everything to me. So pretty much what sickle cell anemia is, um, everybody has red blood cells and they are circles. However, if you have sickle cell anemia, your red blood cells are like little crescent moons. So that makes it really easy for them to pile up and clog up. And red blood cells contain protein, which is hemoglobin. And when the hemoglobin doesn't get to a specific area of your body, then obviously it affects it. So with my um, red blood cells being little crescents and then them clogging up, that specific area it, it prevents from the oxygen to go through my body so that's where that came from because they were like your hemoglobin levels are really low you're not getting enough oxygen throughout your body and it, it explained a lot the doctor explained to me that there are two kinds of sickle cell anemia that there is sickle cell disease and sickle cell trait the difference being is that sickle cell disease is deadly which when he was telling me this, I was like, oh my God, do I have sickle cell disease? And I st all these things started going through my head and I started overthinking. And pretty much sickle cell disease is like where it's like 100% like full on sickle cell anemia. And whenever it's just like full on sickle cell anemia where it comes with like all the symptoms and the chronic pain. And by chronic pain is you get really bad joint pain. And I will link some videos down below where you can see like I saw the one that affected me the most is when I saw this video this little boy and he was just like oh like in agony just like just like touching himself or he had pain and he wasn't able to control it and it lasted to like three five hours i saw a lot of different videos about it and then sickle cell trait is like how should i say it like sickle cell disease is like 100 percent sickle cell anemia and sickle cell trait is like 50 percent should i say so sickle cell trait is more like you just get the symptoms so the symptoms are like dizziness fatigue weakness chest pain, muscle pain, which explains so much because ever since I was little, my hands and feet would swell up and that was because I wasn't getting oxygen flow to my hands and feet because of sickle cell anemia. And I just never went to the doctor specifically for my anemia. How I found out that I was anemic was because I tried uh, donating blood at the blood drive and they were like, oh, you can't, your iron levels are low. My mom was like, yeah, she was like, your iron levels are low because you're anemic, you don't eat right, you're not eating your free colas and all this other stuff, right? So I tried for three years to donate and every single time they were like, no, no, no. But my iron levels kept getting lower and lower and lower and then they were like, you need to go get yourself checked out. And I never got myself checked out until my physical check here in California. That's when everything happened. Um, it explains this to like, when I stand up, I get really dizzy. There's times where I just stand up and then I like faint. And another reason being is because I don't drink a lot of water. So he was like, that affects you a lot. He's like, your red blood cells are really dehydrated. Um, the muscle pains, I would randomly just be laying down. I would get muscle pain and I'd be like, what's wrong? And I would like punch myself, try and take the pain away. Um, I'm always dizzy and I'm always tired. I, I was always like, why am I always so tired? Like, I know I'm not lazy. Like, I know I procrastinate, but I was like, I just felt so sluggish. Like, I had no energy. Like, and I would, and the worst part about it was like, I would be so tired that I would just go to sleep. I remember I was, um, I remember one time I was waiting for um, my medications at the pharmacy and I, I just closed my eyes and I fell back and I even fell off the chair. I was, and I was like, what the heck? Like, what's wrong with me? So it just, I was so happy that he explained everything to me and just 
everything that was happening to me just made a lot of more sense all my and all my questions were answered but then after that he was like um you're gonna have to get a blood transfusion they were like because of the sickle cell anemia and i was like oh okay and that's whenever i started getting you know like a little bit more scared and i was like what is this like i've never gotten a blood transfusion before blah, blah. but he was telling me that it was really beneficial and that i needed it so i was like okay but um when i was at home with my mom i started doing like more research and more videos and more of this and that and then i started overthinking i was like oh my god I was like, what are my kids are gonna have this and then i was like i'm not gonna be able to film for so long and i was like i'm not gonna be active like i just started overthinking i'm a libra libras overthink so much shit so with me being like super stressed out about the situation and me overthinking um i just remember i was going like this like playing with my hair and i remember i went like that and i was like and i saw some hair and i was like oh my god and my hair was falling out because of how stressed I was being. I was just being so hard on myself. And I remember I started crying. I was like, <gasps> and then that's when it happened. And I had like an, a full blown on anxiety attack. Thank God my mom had my medication. Um, I usually know how to control them now. But that day, I just, I don't know what happened. I just, I lost it. And I remember I, I was so, I don't know what happened. I just started pulling my hair out and like hitting myself. And it was just really bad my mom was freaking out alex was freaking out and she was like stop come down come down and then she gave me my anxiety medication and i just i just remember i, I went to sleep and i knocked out and i woke up and i was like Ugh. so i was stressing out about everything and just like i was gonna be missing work i was gonna be missing all these meetings and events and it was just a lot you guys okay i'm pretty sure you guys get the point by now so then the blood transfusion thing comes i get it done it was it wasn't anything like drastic where they like sleep me or anything you know you just stay there they they do the blood transfusion and i was done but i was feeling a little bit weak that day and then they were like you need to eat this you need to eat that so then after the blood transfusion my mom's just here to take care of me to cook for me it's just stuff like that she was just being a really huge support so it was alex and yeah so that's pretty much what's happened in the past two weeks i am feeling way better now I don't feel sluggish anymore which i am so happy about because that blood transfusion really did make a huge difference um i am taking my b12 i am taking my iron supplements i'm taking good care of myself now um i don't drink coke at all anymore i cut off all um i was about to say cody <laughs> i cut off all type of soda and caffeine and all that stuff from my diet i don't eat uh junk food anymore that just like really scared me because i would always be eating junk food and just eating so unhealthy and that was also affecting my body so now it's 2018 we gotta stay hydrated we gotta take care of ourselves so that's what i am doing now i just wanted to let you guys know what has been going on the past two weeks obviously you guys are like my family so i feel the need to tell you guys plus i didn't just want to tweet saying like i have sickle cell anemia and then all you guys go ape shit you're like oh my god what is this does she have something deadly no so i felt like i just wanted to address it on here so that is it for this video i hope that answered a lot of y'all's questions and as to why i was in my a and all that stuff thank you to those who understood even without me giving you a reason um it means a lot but yeah that's it for this video i will see you guys in my next video if you guys have any uh video suggestions down below definitely let me know i will take those into consideration and i will see you guys until next time bye <laughs>